to see you. Happy Easter. I miss you all so much. Um, today for our first art lesson, I'm going to teach you about texture. Okay, so texture is the way something feels. Um, and this is my cat, Kiki, and she has kindly volunteered today to help us learn about texture. So, Kiki is nice and soft. She's warm and she's furry. If you've got a pet, you might like to go touch your pet. And she's really, really soft. Okay, that's one texture, furry. So she's gonna go down and have a sleep. Thanks, Kiki. And I'm gonna show you some different types of texture. So this one, this is called a loofah. Now this texture, if I rub it on my hand, it's a bit scratchy. Okay, it's a bit scratchy and prickly, not as soft as Kiki. But that's another type of texture. Here's another one. This one you've all seen before, it's foil. Okay, so not scratchy like the last one, it's really smooth and soft. It's quite cold as well, okay, so that's a different type. So today we're going to be looking at texture and how we can draw texture, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do a little art project and you don't need much but it's going to make you create a beautiful picture, okay? Okay, so what you'll need for your lesson today is you will need to go out into your backyard or courtyard or maybe go for a walk with a grown-up and you will need to get some leaves, okay? Now these have textures on them. So we're looking at the back of the leaves, not the front of the leaves. So this is the front, we're looking at the back. And we're looking at all of the detail on your leaves because we're going to be putting them onto paper. So I've got a, huge, a big range of different types of leaves, not all the same one. I've also got a little bit of bark because I thought that has an interesting texture. I've also got paper and I've got crayons and some pencils. It doesn't matter which one you have but you will need one of them or both, it's up to you. So you are going to layer all of your leaves down. It's okay if they overlap, that doesn't matter. And remember overlapping is when they cover each other. Okay, we've learnt that when we do collage. So I'm going to place all my leaves around where my page is going to go. I might put the bark here. And then I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'm going to place it over the top. Okay, maybe my bark will sit out. So now we are going to use our colouring tools to start rubbing. What we're doing is making a leaf rubbing. So I'm going to get any colour and I'm going to start rubbing anywhere. And soon you will be able to see the texture that you've made underneath. What leaf have I uncovered? Does anyone know? It's a gum leaf. So I'm going to keep going. Let's go for a bit of a blue. Okay, so you now have covered your entire page in lots of bright drawings for your texture, your leaf rubbings. So now you can take, take away, get rid of all of your leaves that you don't need anymore. And you've got lots of imprints of your texture. You can see all the different types of leaves. So if you've got enough time, you might like to look around your house and find some other things that might make texture. Here's an idea. I have some coins, so you could collect coins from around your house or maybe something else that you can see. And just to give you a little preview, let's put that underneath. Again, let's get our crayon and let's have a look. Can see it. Yes, so you can see that one a little bit. You might like to choose some other textures in your house that you might like to draw. So that's your project for today, Preps. And I'll see you next week. Bye.